Conservative New Media viewers, Jeremy Lynn fans around the world, Charlotte Hornets fans around the world. What's up? It's me, PFE, Paula Filariel, the NBA expert. We're here to discuss Charlotte's 113-98 to defeat tonight to the Orlando Magic in Orlando, Florida. Uh, I'm going to keep this really quick, even shorter than I did. Uh, I made this I made this already, but I have to make it again because my computer wouldn't save it, so I'm going to make it even shorter this time. Let me just say quickly, I'm still having computer issues, obviously. I'm fine. My health is fine. Some people are concerned about me. I'm doing fine. I'm just probably not going to be able to get this computer fixed for a couple of weeks because uh, I'm probably going to have to take it in to get it fixed, and the budget is tight. This is Christmas month, and that's probably just going to have to wait. It might take them some time to fix it. So uh, just updating on that. Also, let me say, before we talk about the game, Houston there are grumblings in Houston that supposedly Dwight Howard is unhappy with things there and playing second fiddle to James Harden. Now, of course, Jeremy Lin fans probably won't find that really shocking here, but it is interesting. My guess is that Dwight Howard wasn't really happy with the mutiny against Kevin McHale, which saw Kevin McHale fired as coach and apparently James Harden get even more power there. So we'll see. Finally, as I mentioned on Twitter, uh, it does appear as though the Philadelphia 76ers may be hiring Mike D'Antoni as an associate head coach. If that happens, I, I do think the Sixers are trying to change their outlook right now and trying to get away from tanking, tanking, tanking. And if Mike D'Antoni goes to, uh, to the 76ers, I do think there's a real chance that Jeremy Lin could end up there. So we're just going to have to see how that develops. He has not been officially hired yet, but they are apparently looking to hire him. Uh, so we'll keep our eyes open on that. I did not get to make a video for the Boston game, game number 23. Jeremy played great in that game. He was great down the stretch of that game. Something like eight points in the fourth quarter. No turnovers played terrific in that game. Tonight, I thought he also played really well. He finished up with eight points on three of nine shooting, including, I believe, one of four from three-point range. And he played 29 minutes tonight, two rebounds, four assists, and only one turnover. The turnover that Jeremy had was a charging call. So it was... He's just trying to be aggressive and get to the basket. Jeremy Lin also started the third quarter of this game rather than P.J. Hairston. I have not heard Steve Clifford talk after the game. I don't know why that was done. I think it's a good sign for Jeremy Lin, and it's a good sign if you're a Jeremy Lin fan. doesn't mean it's going to continue, but it shows you that Steve Clifford has confidence in Jeremy, and I think his confidence in Jeremy is growing. Also notice that the chemistry between Kemba Walker and Jeremy Lin is increasing. That's getting even better. I thought the ball moved very well when Jeremy was in the game. He played good defense. The assist to turnover ratio continues to be strong as it's been through this stretch of games. Orlando just shot the ball really well tonight. Really, really well. And Channing Fry had a big game for him. He hasn't been he hasn't scored a tremendous amount this season, but he scored seventeen points tonight. And Charlotte didn't, they didn't play hard enough defense early enough in the game. Orlando got a rhythm, and they just never got out of the rhythm. Charlotte didn't play poorly, particularly on offense. They just didn't play good enough, and their defense wasn't enough early, and they just, basically, they couldn't keep up with Orlando tonight. But from a Jeremy Lin perspective, he played the most minutes of anybody on the team he played the most minutes, obviously, then of anybody off the bench. He did start the second half. Um, he didn't shoot the ball great. That's the only thing you can say about him. I really don't have a problem with it. Just that's the way it's going to be. And we know that maybe his back's kind of throwing off his shooting a little bit. Uh, a couple of the shots they had to take were buzzer beaters, just like heaves. So, I mean, that affects the percentage. But they really weren't bad shots, at least two of those. Um, I thought he played well. I thought he played well, and this is, again, it's a good sign for Steve Clifford to be staying with him so much and using him to start the third quarter. Let's move on. I This is not a game I expected the team to lose. 
I thought that they were going to win this game, so it's unfortunate. But Orlando is a good team at home, and uh, they have a lot of offensive firepower. Let's move on, then try to get the win tomorrow night when the Hornets will be returning back to Charlotte to take on the Toronto Raptors. Toronto is a they're a strong team. They're good on offense. They're also, I believe, pretty good on defense. Or quite good. I have to look at the stats again. They're 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 deep. They're it's going to be a good game. I don't know if Toronto was playing tonight. I don't think they were, which means that Charlotte's going to be less rested than Toronto. But if I'm to, if I'm Charlotte, I'd feel pretty unhappy about tonight's game, which means that. You should go into tomorrow night's game with a chip on your shoulder and looking for payback for what happened tonight. So Hornets have a schedule right now that's really not that bad. They're, most of the games that are coming up for them in the near future are winnable games. And they need to kind of try to right the ship after this performance and just get, get right back to winning tomorrow night against Toronto. So I don't have the schedule in front of me. I believe the game's at 7 p.m. Eastern time, which may make the game on Friday, December 18th at 8 a.m. in Taipei, Taiwan, and throughout China. I'm just going to keep it real short. That's it. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Your comments below. Thanks to Gary Chen and the Jeremy Only Lynn Garden Group for the artwork you're looking at right now. You'll find more info about them in the video description below the video player also info for highlights of this game and how you can come and join the conservative new media group and follow us on twitter i'm not on twitter a lot right now because of the computer stuff i'll be back as soon as i can get it fixed once again i'm pfe paula for the real the nba expert thanks a lot for watching conservative new media we strive to be the number one jeremy lynn youtube fan channel look this is Jeremy's playing well. He's playing well. And the, I think the coaching staff recognizes it. And they're using him. Tonight wasn't about him. It just was a whole team. And honestly, a lot of it was about Orlando. And it just they had it going tonight. So let's move on and try to get the win tomorrow against Toronto. That's that's what we can do. Okay, take care. We will hopefully talk to you tomorrow after, to, after the game to, against the Toronto Raptors. If we can make a video, we'll make a video. And we'll talk to you again then.